Welcome back to the Baroness as a TCG, and today we are going to be opening this Scarlet and Violet Pokemon 151 ETB. And before we get into it, I'd like to thank my 143 subscribers. That is a live feed in the upper right, and two people did drop off from last time I checked, and I do believe it's because I'm spreading myself a little thin with the content. I open all sorts of uh, TCGs and sell them on TCG Player. So I have Pokemon, Battle Spirits, Digimon, One Piece, Lorcana, and I know it's not very focused, but my focus is building a business of opening sealed product and selling them on TCG Player or in person. For example, if a card is $200, I will save on the fees from eBay and TCG Player, and I'll just sell it locally. But before we get into that, I want to say I also found something I've been looking for for a while. Now, it is this non-alcoholic Oktoberfest beer by Partake. And I was looking for this for a while. So we're just going to sleeve this up. And cheers. There's not a lot of variety when it comes to non-alcoholic beers, so I'm pretty excited about that one. And it hits the spot. Really like that one. Um, but let's switch to our card view. All right. So I was surprised at how easy I could find this. These are sold out on Walmart and Target. There's none left. I checked the you know a bunch of times just to see. And while it's hard to find in those big box stores... They're everywhere. I could go back to the shop I bought this from and buy 10 more. Um, and at $45, it's not terrible. I know other stores are selling it for a lot more. But I don't really want to overspend on these things. So let's look at what it comes with. You do get nine uh, booster packs. So that's going to come up to about $5 a booster pack, which is double what I like paying. But uh, I bought it to make a video about it. Normally, I'd save, uh, I'd wait until it's around $30, $35 before buying ETBs. They're not my favorite product. Great for displaying if you like sealed product, but I don't. So it's kind of a waste when you get all these extras. You do get the one full art promo of Snorlax, um, 65 card sleeves. I do think these card sleeves are terrible. Uh, compared to just dragon shields. So, for example, here's one uh, from the Paldea Evolved ETB. And I noticed when I shuffle and I play, it starts to split very easy. Maybe I'm an aggressive shuffler, but I think the quality could be better on this. But Pokemon seems to go on the route of um, seal the sealed investors. Because a lot of people have these sleeves. They don't even open them. A lot of people have all this stuff and it's not even open. So they don't really care about the quality as much. So you do get the 45 energy cards. Those are kind of like throwaway. Um, at this point, everyone has energy cards. They come in all the packs. I don't even know why they include that. You have the uh, the player's guide, six damage counter dice, uh, competitive legal coin flip die, two plastic condition markers, box to hold everything, and a code for live. The highlight out of this, besides the packs, is just the box. These boxes are always nice to have depending on you know how many cards you have, what you're doing with them. I outgrew these. I need bigger boxes for all my inventory. I about, have about, I have over 10,000 cards listed. So, you know, these aren't cutting it. Now, oh, I don't like this at all. So this is a, how do I say it? It's not glossy. It looks more, it feels worse as far as quality goes. But you have all the cards here. A um, little explanation uh, what the expansion's about. You got a checklist. I want to say they could have made this better. This feels very, um, not cheap. Cheap's the bad word. It's not going to tear apart. But I think they could have gone with more of a gloss instead of a, you know, that matte kind of regular paper feel. But. I don't know who this is for. I don't know who checks off the cards like this besides besides kids. So if this is uh, 
if you're buying this as a gift for a child, yeah, this is great. I remember when I was a kid, I would check things off all the time and I'd look at the book. But now, full-grown adults that are collecting and selling, you're not really doing anything with this. Um, besides keeping it with the box, keeping it sealed, sure. Opening this up, so... We have some packaging. We have our sleeves, which follow the same theme as what you see on the boxes and on the, the binder. Which I opened one of those also, if you want to check that video out. So, put those aside. You have the code card for the box. There you go. Here's our throwaway energy. I have a lot of these energies just sitting there doing nothing. That's why a lot of people, when they sell cards, they just write a thank you. Um, you know, write on them and send it. Then we have our Snorlax promo, which... It's perfect. It matches our Snorlax play mat. I'm not sure how much he's worth. Again, this is... Uh, I don't like flashing what they're wor worth because it changes all the time. If you're watching this video later, that could be a $5 card. could be a $10 card. 20 I actually use these. So I usually use these dividers on my big uh, cardboard boxes just to separate sets after I alphabetize them. makes it easier. So these are appreciated. We have our condition tokens, dice. I don't really use them. Actually, I take that back. I do use the just the regular six-sided die for other games. The damage counters, sometimes I use for Lorcana and other things. But I have so many at this point that it doesn't really matter. And then we have our packs, which is what everyone's looking forward to see what I got. Um, I don't know where my, my hit stand is, so I guess we'll just use, we'll use this as far as the hits go. We'll just put it right there. So take a quick drink. You know, when you make YouTube videos and you don't edit out the mistakes and things like that, your throat gets really dry. Um, but I want this to be as raw as possible. You know, the editing takes me out of it when I go in and I edit things down. It doesn't sound like me. It sounds kind of like a robot at that point, you know, where everything's perfect and pristine. So I just keep everything in there. Uh, Fulpix, Zubat, Goldeen, Weeping Bell, Seedra, Kabuto, Gloom, Coughing, Doduo, Dodrio. And like I said, you get energies all over the place. So when, when I see people tally up how much these things are worth, they'll open this and they'll just be like trash and put it away. And they don't consider, they don't count how much you're getting. Now me, uh, I'm trying to make money with every card because if you're just opening these packs looking for the hits, at that point, either you're a collector or you're just gambling. I don't like gambling. I want to steer the odds in my favor. So these cards here, so all of these... If they're not, if they're not, if they're in the meta as far as, you know, people play them and everything, the price will go up and I'll charge more. But let's say no one's playing these cards. So all of these are getting posted at 25 cents and they'll sit there until they sell. Now, a lot of people are like, you'll never sell them. This is a, a penny card and a lot of people do sell it for a penny, but I'm not going to. I will let them sit in this room for years until they become a 25 cent card. And that point I will, or, you know, someone will buy them. The set will be old. Someone's going to want to finish the collection. Also, someone may buy a hit from me, let's say $10 and they want to save on shipping. So they'll throw this Vulpix in for 25 cents. And then instantly that's great. That's profit. These things being 25 cents, it adds up and it happens more than you think. So my business model is, Sell them all, all these at 25 cents or more. Anything less, you're going to be losing money. Because a lot of people will buy just this one Vulpix. And if I sell it for a penny, nine, plus 99 cents shipping, I am losing out every time they buy something. As far as these go, this set is so new that a lot of people are uh, trying, to, trying to catch them all, trying to collect them all. And especially these reverse hollows. I have sold 
reverse hollows of commons and uncommons for a dollar. Uh, there was a scyther that was going for a dollar. And I think I sold a uh, Doduo for a dollar, another one. So these are going to be going up at a higher price. Um, same thing with the rares. Again, everything's being sold, except the energies right now. I haven't sold a single energy. I don't think I will sell an energy. Um, it's just not worth my time. So I got to figure out another thing I'm going to do with that. There's got to be another way or a use for those for those energy cards. All right. Magnemite, Caterpie, Eevee, Grimer, Seedra, Kabuto, Gloom, Cloyster, Magmar, and Machamp. And you got a code card there. So everyone's saying that it's very hard to get hits. I don't know if that's true because so far I haven't got an alt art or anything out of 151 yet. But people at the shop bought things and they ended up with alt arts and fancy stuff. So, you know, it's too soon for me to say if it's not worth it um, as far as the product goes. So we have a slow poke. I sold one of these for about a dollar before. Just uh, the reverse hollow. Got Chansey, and these I might actually sell. So the cosmic-looking energies, because someone's going to want these in their deck. Now, I might wait till I get at least maybe 10 of each if I continue to open this product. So far, I'm not having great luck, so I might not open them, but it, it really just depends. I still have, you know, in back of me, if you can see, let me switch. Um, oh, that's the wrong hand. Right there. So I do have the uh, Alakazam and, and Zapdos box that I have to open. So looking forward to that. Again, I could find those easily too. All right. Back to it. Zubat, Goldeen, Nidoran, Clefable, Doug Trio, Hunter, Clefairy, Polyrath, Wrath, Polyrath, and a Blastoise EX. So we'll put him in, we'll just say the hit counter. I don't believe he's worth that much, but I know someone wants him to complete their set. Blastoise is a fan favorite, just like a lot of the other original um uh, of the main three starters, you know, Blastoise, Charizard, um, and oh, wow, I am drawing a blank because I never liked the plant guy, Bulbasaur, Venusaur, and the other guy. Wow, I'm, I'm sure in the comments everyone's going to be mad at me for not remembering. So, uh, Doduo, Tentacool, Hitmonlee, Wartortle, Hypno, Nidran, Weedle, a Charizard EX. So, sleeve this one up too. Now they just need to get me the third one. The third one. I feel ashamed. I, I'm not going to lie. Uh, younger me would be very mad. Ghastly, Paris, Voltorb, Krabby, Hitmonlee, Wartortle, Hypno, Butterfree, Helix Fossil, Articuno, and a code card. Three more packs to go. Over. Tata, Squirtle, Lickitung, Venonat, Polyrath, Pijot, Ammonite, Goldeen, Vaporeon, Electrode. Two more. I'm getting worried. Very, very worried. Still haven't hit any alt arts. Sand True Sealed, Duo Tentacool, Polyrath, Shot Ammonite, Parasect, Energy Sick, Energy Sticker, a Marowak, a Foil Leaf Energy. Last pack. Let's see what we got here, and I'll give my final thoughts on what I think about the ETB and if you should buy it. Pidgey, Metapod, Ponytail, Poly, Polywag, 
Taurus, Kadabra, Ivasaur. Oh, so I did get it right with Venusaur. I just forgot Ivasaur. Okay, like, I feel a little better now. Bulbasaur, and I was like, Bulbasaur, Venusaur. Ivasaur <laughs> is the one I was really forgetting. Uh, Staryu, Ekans, Vaporeon, and a code card for you out there. So, the hits. We're going to put this stack of bulk on the side. We have these two, which I do believe are going to be easy to sell. They're probably not going to be worth that much. And our two hits are going to be Blastoise EX, Charizard EX. And with the ETB, you do get the Snorlax promo card. So overall, $45. And it's not always $45 right now. Because I see them for 50 I see some of them selling for 60 So in the end, should you buy this? No. I don't believe you should spend your money on it unless it dip, dips down to about 30 You're still better off just buying the packs itself. Um, I forgot how many come in it, but just the product that has the packs. It's the only thing you need to buy out of this. You know, Get the binder from the binder set. Then from there, just get the packs. This, if you're a sealed investor, collector, and you want this on the shelf, perfect. Go ahead and get it, throw it on the shelf. Um, if it's your first product, if it's your first product as a adult Pokemon fan that's getting back into it, yes, get it, because you get the box, you get the sleeves, you get some energy to start. I don't, I don't think that's a bonus, but you get all the stuff, and it's a it's themed around um pokemon 151 let's switch that real quick um so the box is great to have the promo card sure that's good just but if you really want this just get it on tcg player just buy the single so but the reasoning is if you are getting back into it and you remember the 151, that's what you grew up with, perfect. This set makes sense. The ETB makes sense because you want to see all the little products that you can, um, see what resonates with you, whether you're a sealed investor or you like ETBs, you like the boxes, you like to display that, maybe you need more storage. You have to figure that out as a new collector. So yes, get it. But if you are buying this for a child, someone who likes... You know who likes Pokemon? Uh, from what I've seen, most of the the kids now that are into Pokemon don't really care about the original 151. They just don't. And I remember that when I was selling things and someone was buying stuff for his daughter, and in the end, I was like, "Oh, what's 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 her favorite? You know, the old or new as far as which Pokemon?" And it's it's always new. Just it makes sense. They're growing up with a new batch of Pokemon, new shows, new everything, and this does not appeal to them as much, because almost all Pokemon products are universally great for kids. As far as sealed and sealed collectors, everything's great for them because they're just gonna hold it and then sell it for like three times more. But for the people that are opening it, this is not a good product. You're gonna lose money on it. Even my way of selling this for twenty five cents, it's going to be years before I am able to offload all these bulk cards at 25 cents before I make 40 my you know my $45 back. So at $2.50 a pack, then this is this is a much easier thing to do to sell these at 25 cents each, maybe 50 cents, you know, for some of them, a uh, dollar here and there. But this is how you lose money in Pokemon. If you're a collector, I mean, that's on you. You collect what you want. Maybe you want 10 of each card. I can't tell you if it's good value if I don't know what you're trying to achieve. But if you're trying to get one of each card, like a play set, um, this is another one that seems like you're better off just buying the singles. Go find someone on TCG Player that is selling it for a penny for a, a common. Buy all the commons. It's not going to cost that much, even with shipping, because after $5, it's free anyways. Uh, and then just piece together the 
entire set. Get on eBay, TCG Player, all these other places locally, and just go to a card shop if you have to. It's so much easier to piece together a full set without opening the packs, especially at this hit rate that people are are claiming. I'm starting to believe them because I'm not getting much out of these these packs. Uh, but let me know what you think. Did you like the ETBs? Are you going to collect the ETBs? Are you going to throw them on the shelf? What is it that you're going to do with it? Or are you on the side of just buy the straight up packs and go from there? Let me know. Let's talk about it. And with that said, I'll catch everyone next time.